hey guys welcome back to the channel so uh we're in the shop and uh i'm going to do a quick video on a uh, mopar distributor and when i say quick i mean quick it's a hundred degrees in here today so we're going to keep it we're going to keep it some kind of short but uh what i'm working on the bench is a mess so bear with me this is a newer style mopar distributor and uh let me get this out of the way like I said, it's 100 degrees. I got to stay hydrated in here. It's hot. So what we're doing, this is a, a newer style Mopar distributor. It's a small block. I'm not sure if the big blocks are the same. I had been asked how I adjusted my total timing. If I'd used a plate or welded the notches or whatever. And I said, well, neither. And I kind of got looked at like I was dumb. And uh, so I kind of figured if he didn't know what i was talking about other people didn't either so i was going to take this one this is a spare that i have this is not the one out of the dart but it's the exact same thing that's in the dart so i figured i would make a video of showing you these distributors just in case some of you older school guys haven't seen this before and i know a lot of people probably wouldn't use these just because they're different and it's so far though i mean they might be junk i don't know but so far I haven't had any problems out of mine. It it seems to adjust fairly smooth. But uh I've already done the hard part. I've got all the bolts taken out. I'll get the camera down and I'll pull this out and I'll show you how this is adjusted. Alright, so this is gonna come apart just like your uh your normal distributors. If you don't know how, you just take the uh take the bolts out of the sides. You got one here, one there. And then your two for your vacuum advance. To get the vacuum advance out, you just want to separate. There's like a, it's kind of spring loaded. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to do this on camera. But just separate. like that you just separate it and then that will pop right out and then once you pop it out just hold it up and wiggle it out it's kind of a pain but it'll come out like that and right there's the hole that this plunger goes in so you just kind of put put a screwdriver in between these two plates and it's spring loaded you just kind of separate it up be careful not to bend it but I loosen this screw up too. I don't take it off, just loosen it up. And I'm sweating everywhere, it's hot. So uh, then after that, this just pulls right out. Okay, so now to the main part of this video. This right here, these are your weights for your advance. These springs right here and here set the curve for your weights. All right, so these two Torx head screws it is a T15, not a T20. So then you just loosen these up. All right, so now I got them loosened up. I had to put it in a vise because they were pretty tight. So once they're loose, you just take these slots if, and you just, you have to do it by the screw, I guess. All right, so once it's loosened up, you just take this and slide it. And that's what adjusts your total timing. So if you're, that is all the way open. So if your initial is at, you know, 14 or 15 or whatever, and say your total right here is at 33, and you want less, you would loosen these two screws up, that's gonna lessen it up. So that's about halfway. So you're figuring, you know, 20 probably 22 or so but if you want if you don't want none you want to just lock it out that's locked out if you want more you, you adjust it like that that's how it's adjusted uh, you don't have to weld no slots you don't have to have no plates and then once you get it set where you want you just tighten them two two torque screws back down and then you're set and if you want to adjust your curve just like on the old style, you replace these springs. I'm not 
not 100% sure if they make different size weights for these. That's something you'll have to check out. I'm not, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't change any of this on mine. I did change the springs. I went with a heavier spring because I was getting my total timing was, I can't remember the RPM, but it was low. So I did go with a heavier spring, but, uh, but that's how you, if you see that max or that's your, that's your total timing right there. But let me loosen this back up and I'll show you one more time. So right there. Now you see that slot's a lot bigger. Now you have a lot less total timing. You have a lot less. But, but that's going to wrap this one up. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to do that. As you can see, I'm sweating. It's hot in here. It's, uh, let me look at the thermometer again. It's saying 99 right now. It was 100 when I come in here. I have a fan, but I turned it off so you could <laughs> you could hear me on the video. But that's going to wrap this one up. Just wanted to give you a, a quick uh, video on how to do that and how that works just in case anybody that has got one of these distributors have never seen one like this before. And uh, I had a guy ask me about it and like I was, uh, he asked me, you know, how did you adjust your total? Did you weld the slots or use a plate? And I was like, no. And he's like, well, how would you do it? And I was like, it's just a set screw. And he just kind of looked at me like I was stupid. So I just wanted to clear that up. If uh, if you've never seen that before, that's how you adjust it. Uh, I think this distributor, I, I don't know a lot about the history of it. It's just what I bought and it's what I received. So it's what I used. And then I bought another one and I got another one. But uh, both of these were used. So I, I didn't buy the one I'm new, so I don't know what the brand is. But I was told that their uh, Pro Form was a brand that makes this style distributor. Uh, I have several of the older distributors that take the plate. This is just the one I happen to use. So uh, I hope this helps. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.